I will show you how to integrate OWASAP with GitLab CI CD in this tutorial. Before the tutorial begins, I want to explain about what jobs Zap could do to our apps. There are three types of jobs that Zap could do. First, baseline scan. Second is full scan. And finally, ABI scan. For baseline scan, Zap will scan our app for a predetermined duration. By default, Zap will scan for one minute. On the other hand, full scan will make Zap do a full scan and the period may adjust with the scale of the apps. Finally, API scan will scan the apps API that open API, SOAP, and GraphQL defines. In this tutorial, we will carry out baseline scan since it is quick enough as an example. Before moving on, I hope you have understood how GitLab CICD works, even just a bit. In this tutorial, I have deployed an app from this Docker container to Google Cloud Platform Virtual Machine. This app will be the target of Zap. Of course, you will have a different target app from mine. So make sure Zap can access it. This will be the result from if we hit its API, it will give this result. If you want to use this app, you can access it in this video description. Now to our main topic. Here is the script to execute Zap in GitLab CI CD. There are few things that I assume you have understood, which are these parts. The main concepts in this script are the script itself and the artifacts. So here is the idea. Wait. Okay. Um. So, oh, wait. Okay. Here it is. So, at first, the container will create a directory and then after that the container will execute the baseline scan after the baseline scan has done it will store the result in the previous directory that uh, that has been created before and then we copy that result to the artifact path. And finally, GitLab CI CD retrieves the artifact. For the detail, the baseline is the, the, the Python file to execute the baseline scan. In this tutorial, it has several parameters, which are T, which uh, that means the target apps, and this is the URL. And G, that means generate config file. 
and lastly r that means report file in html now i just want to remind you that the name of the report file will be test report dot html and this report will be retrieved in the artifact command now of course i have done it before but i just want to show you how it will work so we have this and we commit this so yeah after we commit this the pipeline will be running. We have to wait around one minute and 30 seconds to get it done. But nevertheless, the result should be like this. Uh, you just click it and it will suggest where we have to download it in our directory. And it is an archive file, and so we should extract it. But uh, in my case, the result will be will look like this. And yeah, you have to analyze it yourself. So wait for a bit. Let's see what's happened in the in the log. Okay, so it is executing the 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 scan, the baseline scan. So let's wait it for a bit. Yeah, it has been one minute and for and oh yeah, it should be done. Yeah, not long. Okay. Let me see it in here. Oh, yeah, it has done. So if I, oh, yeah. All right, so here, it found the artifact file. So the result uh, should be the same, nevertheless. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.